Make sure you get every minute you can with everybody you're considering to maximize the chance that you know everything that you want to focus on in making the decision. I think that was the biggest thing. It's part of the reason the search took you know longer. Um, that's why we met him three times. I'm not sure how many teams meet their coaches three times. I mean, two isn't very unusual, but three is probably fairly unusual. Um, I think that was the biggest lesson. Just spend as much time as we possibly could, not just with the person that ended up as the job, but with everybody else you were comparing them to, to make sure you had as much information as possible to make the decision. What was the final tally on uh, interviews? Um, I don't know exactly. It was probably around 10, yeah. I would say. What's your reaction to the pummeling and the perception that's out there now? Well, you know, it's not pleasurable, personally, or for the organization. Um, but, you know, to be honest, from our seat, you know, somewhat unjustified, not completely. We understand we made a mistake, at least by our own assessment, and making a change after one year. So we're not oblivious to the questions that that creates and the justifiable questions. On the other hand, since there is a long history of coaches being hired later and coaches in the playoffs doing well, the idea of taking the time to make sure we reviewed everybody that we thought had a chance to be a really good coach. I mean, to us, it seems obvious, even if it isn't what most teams have done historically. I mean, that doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't necessarily uh, create a perception of, you know, dysfunction, or at least it shouldn't. So it wasn't fun, and it was also hard to not be in a position to respond to it. But, you know, what you got to do in the end is try to focus on what you're trying to do, which is find a coach you think could lead the team effectively for a long time. Joe, and try to stay focused on that. Is the length of his contract four years? Um, it's actually five. Joe, because we, we may not see you before something changes. Were you... The, the Dolphins is taking. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't happen that quick. No, no, no. no, no this is a non question. Because the, dolphin, the Dolphins have taken a lot of heat for what happened and not maybe saying anything to you about Devon Bess in the trade. Were you guys aware of the March incident? And have you contacted the league at all? And also, aside, have you been in contact with Devon? Um, the only part of that I'm going to answer is we've been uh, in contact and trying to do everything we can to support and help Devon through the entire process. Did the team do a background check on him? I don't want to answer anything beyond what I just said. And will he remain on the roster on your active list? He's on our active list as we speak. and I don't anticipate that changing, but obviously at some point we'll review that. Joe, the, right? the decision to um, to not do the second interview with Quinn or do it, um, did that go into today? Were you still kind of kicking that notion around today? You know, first of all, I, the premise of the question may or may not be true. <laughs> oh, I said the decision to, to interview him a second time or not interview him a right. second time. Either. I'm saying the premise of the question may not be true. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, well, that well, Joe, and, uh, okay. Yes, that, the decision about whether to spend any more time with him went all the way into today. Joe, We're, does he remind you of anybody? You've obviously met a lot of guys in state. Um, You know, I can't say that. I mean, he's got pieces of a lot of different people, but I'm not sure I could just point to one person and say he's like him. How is he Joe, different from Rob Chazinski? No, I don't want to say that. I think we articulated his strengths. Mm -hmm which are around, you know, he's very disciplined, he's very tough, he's got very clear vision about what he wants to do, what type of team he wants to build, what types of coaches he wants to recruit. I think he has a good understanding of the importance of the managing of the coaches and being a manager as a head coach, which is different than being a coordinator. So uh, not compared to anybody, I think those are the strengths that attracted us to him. Was there one other finalist who interviewed today? There was another finalist, and beyond that, I don't want to so. Was he here? Uh, I don't want to say. Who and was it? Ray Farmer stay here? Yes, Ray is staying. What does that okay. What does that mean to the Double organization? <laughs> I'm sorry. What is What does that mean to the organization well, for we, Ray to we stay? We retained an outstanding employee that we were excited when he decided a year ago to come here, and we're really excited that he decided to stay. I've been calling Ray an up and coming star, which probably haunted us and <laughs> tipped off the rest of the league how good he was. So I'll be more careful, but. He's an up-and-coming star. He's a high, high character, outstanding employee, and a really valuable part of our team. Joe, the decision to go defensive coach mm -hmm. instead of offense, I think there's at least a perception that you were leaning toward offense. Is that true that you ideally would have an offensive guy, and then what made you switch? I, I, I would say, uh, I said this earlier, it was important to make sure we hired somebody who understood how important it was to be aggressive about trying to score points on offense. Some people think, and in most cases it's probably true, that's more likely to be an offensive-minded guy. Um, but here, and you heard him speak about it, we have a defensive coach who's actually got a very, very aggressive mindset about how you run offense, how you play offense, and how you try to stay and score as many points as you can. You're not into a shortening the game mindset and all that. So I think 
for, for us to hire a defensive coach, he had to have that mindset. But as long as they did, we were open to even. Was he good? Did you talk to Pete?